Welcome back to AM Northwest. The pandemic and the great resignation have left many businesses short-staffed. As a result, many employees feel overwhelmed and burned out and stressed to the max. Here to share more some ways that we can ask for more support, we welcome back the author of Red Cape Rescue, Save Your Career Without Leaving Your Job, Darcy Eichenberg. Hi, Darcy. Hey, Helen. Glad to be back. Yeah, this is really, um, I think, really speaks to what's going on right now. So let's talk about the first thing you say, first of all, is know your value. Absolutely. Every single person in our workforce today has value, has meaning. And sometimes we forget it, right? We think that people don't notice all the things that we're doing. Or we think, well, I could... I could not do that, but it means something. The fact that you're there, that you're in that job, and you have value to the company. If the company didn't need you, that job would not be there right now. So remembering you have value, and so you can ask for what you need and make sure that you are consistent to be able to get it, to do more of the things that are the most valuable to your company. Right. Are you hearing stories of women who are fe feeling all that overwhelmed and dealing with way too much than they than they ever used to before the pandemic? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I think that we're all in this state of just being tired, right? Yeah. Everybody's tired. The challenge is that we're still going at sprint pace, even though it's become a marathon, and we have to really look hard at the way we're doing things and who is doing what things. And I think it's time that we have to choose not to do some things to make the space for things that really matter. And that's hard for a lot of women. It's hard for people in general to let go of some things in the way that they've done them in the past. Yeah. You say to realize that it's not about you. So often uh, I hear people say, I asked my boss I, to, for a lesser workload or I, I asked to take some time off. And I said, well, tell me about the ask. And they said, well, it was because I'm so tired or I'm overwhelmed. But in the big picture, everybody's tired and overwhelmed. So make a connection to the business. I need to focus in on these core projects, which are most important to the business. So we need somebody else to be able to do these other things. Or so I need some support to be able to execute these things. Or we need to choose not to be doing these things. Those are things that we can control that ask. And it's important for us to connect the, the dots to the business. You know, there are a lot of companies that are well known for, you know, if uh, someone is gone, let's say, like you've lost a lot of people, and they're, they're able to still continue with the employees they have even those employees are overworked they won't, re won't replace the people who left because they figure well it's it cost them less money right mm -hmm. I think this is a danger that there's so many people who are doing that and I have such huge respect for the organizations like our nurses and our you know our healthcare professionals who that work that spigot of work doesn't ever shut off right but there are a lot of our jobs where we are just sponging it all up right. and we're not letting things, we're not making different decisions about what we're going to do and managing our own boundaries. And the thing is when we suck all up the, you know, all the work that's around us, that never shows our leaders where they need to hire, where a problem right. is going to be happening. And so we have to take care of ourselves too, while still thinking about what's right for the company, but we can't sacrifice ourselves and get to that place where we're going to burn out or be overwhelmed. Right. You say to offer alternatives. Sometimes we might ask for help, but we don't know exactly what we're asking. And, and you know, our bosses, our leaders, they're human, too. Uh, they don't know how to solve that other than a full-time hire, and which is very hard to find today. But maybe you can think creatively. Maybe there's a way to outsource a part of your job or to hire a temporary person. Um, there's so many gig workers, freelance workers, task rabbits. You know, there's people who come in and do just a project. What's something on your plate that you is not in your superpower space that you could move off your plate in order that, that somebody else could take on and for you to have more time on the things that are important most to you, you and your business? It's probably important, too, to make sure that what you're doing at home isn't overwhelming as well. Oh, this is such an a important thing that I think we put these these thoughts on ourselves are we have to take care of everything at home at the same level and um and truly 
we can also outsource or ask for more support at home. And I think sometimes, especially as women, we have to get specific about what we need. We have to be very clear about the ask. Uh, we, we just can't assume. And often we've let people make assumptions around us that, oh, well, she likes doing the grocery shopping or she likes doing the laundry. You know, those things, they can all be handed off to a family member. Yeah, sure. And uh, lastly, make the ask and then follow up frequently. Follow up, follow yeah. up, follow up. So many times we ask once and then it doesn't happen. And then we say, oh, well, I guess I just have to do it. And that's a sacrifice on you. And that will increase your burnout. That will increase your overwhelm. So hold other people accountable to helping with the ask and follow up until you get a, a specific answer. Yep. We want to tell our viewers the book again is titled Red Cape Rescue. Uh, Darcy Ackenberg, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Helen. Appreciate it. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest on the way.